Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. I wanted to show y'all a little how to get started playing some melodic style banjo. I, I started this fairly simply when I was learning to play. I, I didn't dive in and find some tab or anything like that. I learned one or two just simple melodic licks that I could stick in the songs that I already knew. And so what I want to do today is kind of talk a little about what melodic style is and, and kind of how we approach it. But I want to give you two licks, two licks that replace licks that you already know if you've been through my my lesson series. So let me let me show you kind of what I think of when I think of melodic style and and how you can start to peck around and find your own own ideas and licks that you can use in, in songs and, and maybe even build an entire song using this idea we know songs are made up of scales and if you didn't now you do uh but y'all y'all remember Y'all remember your music scale? If you took music in school, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So you know that. And <clears throat> so let's start, let's find that scale. And, and you can find it on one string if you want to. You can find that just up the third string. And, and, and I could tell you the frets. I could tell you but I'm not gonna. You can go back and watch. But what I'd like you to do is sit and hunt that scale. Sing it. No, pray, me. And find each note, because that's gonna help you immensely. Then, once you're comfortable with that, then try to find it on different strings. Uh, So that's doing that scale just, and that's a single string way to do that scale. And that's, that's the way Don Reno played and uh, Eddie Adcock and a bunch of guys played using a single string style. But there were other guys like Bobby Thompson and Bill Keith that played a melodic style where they didn't play note after note on the same string. So like on that G scale we just did, so we got third string, third string, second string, second string, first string, first string, first string, first string. The way Bill Keith or Bobby Thompson would have approached that would have been to alternate strings each time. So they would have done something like So third string, fourth string, second string, third string, first string, second string, first string, fifth string. Now they're not using a roll, but they are alternating between strings, one string and another string, so that you're not having two strings together at the same time, at least not all the time. Uh, sometimes our melodic licks will, will need to have, you know, a couple of notes on the same string. But that's later. That's not right now. So that's the way those scales work. And if you wanted to, you could sit and... So that's a G. You could find that scale in C. You could find it in D. And I recommend doing that. You say, but Jim, what's a D scale and what's a C scale? Start, do your do, re, mi on... Start it with a particular note. Start it with a D note. So there's our D. And so... And I'll, I'll put that in a tab, but that's the way you find them. And, and, and try and, and just mess around with that. And I'm not saying to sit and practice scales, but that will help you get comfortable with, with the way that these licks work. But I promised you, we do a couple of licks. Now, I know you know 
some filling licks. And this is what we're going to use. These first melodic injection into our music is going to be in some of these fill-in licks that we, we use. So we use this lick. So we use... So we use that lick a lot of times at the end of a phrase. And we could, instead of playing that lick, we could play a melodic lick instead. And so let's learn that one. So what I, and this might be one of, uh, one of the very first melodic licks that I ever learned. All right, let's break that down. We're going to start with the fifth string, and you've got your second string fretted at the fifth fret. So five, two, one. Notice that first string is open, and now we're going to move over to the third string at the fifth fret. So third string, second string open, and then we're going to fret our fourth string at the seventh fret. Play it, and then the third string open. So notice how we're playing notes fretted up the neck a good ways, sometimes way up, but right here, fifth fret, against strings that are open. And that, that allows us to play these kind of licks. So that lick again. That lick substitutes for... the new melodic lick for that. Now I promised you two licks. So the next lick, on the right hand it's fairly simple. On the left hand it's going to have a little stretch and it's going to be a little different. But you know, you can do this. I promise you. But this lick will replace our 302 lick. You know, this one. So we're going to replace that lick with this lick. Let's break that down. Uh, the right hand is basically a forward and reverse roll pad. So that's going to make this a little simpler. But it's still a melodic lick. It just so happens that we're using that right hand pattern. It works out and makes things a little simpler for us. Left hand is going to be index, sixth fret, second string, ring finger, eighth fret, first string. So five, two, one, five. Right there. And then we're going to put our index finger, fifth fret, third string, and our pinky on the uh, fourth string at the eighth fret. And it's a one, three, four, one. And then our third string open. So it sounds like. And that fills the same amount of space as. So if you encounter that 302 lick, then you know that you can take that new lick that I just showed you and plug that right in, and it'll work. It will work. And your friends and your picking buddies and your YouTube followers or whoever's watching you pick, family, will go, ooh, he's learned a new lick. And, and you will. You, you got a brand new lick. So work on those. Have fun with them. Insert those into songs you know. When those licks come up, try to plug in these two new licks, just two. This will get you headed down a path of learning some melodic tunes, I promise you. And add a little at a time. Don't try to bite off 
some big, huge tune if you're new to this style. If you're just now learning or just now diving into any kind of melodics, start with a lick and then start with another lick. But don't, don't, don't rush yourself. You'll get the hang of it, I promise you. And pretty soon, you'll be playing any, any fiddle tune that you can whistle or hum or sing or whatever. All right. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this sort of stuff, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.